we have a next question that's from our forums. Um, can anybody give advice on how to make the dissolving body effect in segmentation? Thanks for the advice. I'm dissolving. And they use a bunch of little cute hashtags too. Hashtag dissolve, hashtag dissolve effect, hashtag FYP, hashtag TikTok. So thank you so much, Tila, for asking this question. Um, maybe being able to apply a material on a 2D texture or a 3D plane? Yeah, let's take a look. I know we have a dissolve material. <laughs> uh, we can go to special effects and find this dissolve. And really the idea of dissolve a dissolved material like this is usually it's using some sort of noise and that based on that noise, it's kind of randomly selecting sections to make transparent and stuff like that. So the first thing we can do is make a 2D screen image, right? And then we can add, instead of image default material, we can add the dissolved material. And we can see right away, uh, you can see that dissolve. And then we can go into the material settings. And uh, there's a lot of things here you can change. We're not gonna worry about most of them for this, but play around them with them if you want. Um, okay. So we have dissolve, pearl, glass, fabric. Okay, this has a lot <laughs> going on. Uh, detail albedo, we might need something like that. Um, so, the, I might, put the segmentation texture in here. Let's make the dissolve a little bit smaller, the scale. Okay. Um, all right. And then you could also use UV control to do maybe some more. Um, but let's see, we'll add some segmentation in. So we have that, so portrait segmentation and we don't really need the background. Um, maybe we can set our dissolve mat to this segmentation. <clears throat> okay, so in the dissolve mat, now we can, um, we can set the texture and it has a cutoff um, so we can use the Oh, the portrait segmentation is actually a mask now. I totally forgot. Uh, it's a new change. But if you look down here, the portrait segmentation texture is actually just this mask. And when you add it to your project, we actually create a segmentation material which um, uses that mask. So actually, that kind of changes the approach. Um, Interesting. Um, okay. 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 Let's see. So I think maybe we would put it in the opacity texture section then, which, uh, dissolve mat and it's on this portrait, right? I guess the opacity texture maybe uses a different pattern than the than this. Okay, sorry. I kind of thought that would do it. Um, unless we have, it looks like we actually have two dissolved materials here. So just so I'm not using the wrong one, let me just delete the other one. Okay. That was <laughs> the problem. I accidentally imported it twice. Okay. <clears throat> um, so here's the one that I was changing before. And now we can see uh, the portrait segmentation is the opacity texture, but uh, we'll put a person with movement just in case. Um, okay. Well, one way to do it, hmm, I would really I, ideally like to 
figure that out. But it might need the texture more than the um, material for this. Let's let's make a fresh empty material and we'll just use some noise. <clears throat> and we can um, text sample a texture 2D. And what we'll do is uh, we will use the camera input texture for the person. And then we'll create another one. And we'll just use that mask that we made, portrait segmentation. Um, so now that's a mask. Um, we can use this same UV on both. And normally, what you would do is you would use the uh, opacity or the uh, white color of the mask for the alpha of the other one. Uh, and you know, this dissolve material, I'm pretty sure it must be set to, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just wasn't set to transparent. Even though it looks transparent, I, I'm assuming it's blending with uh, the last layer. So setting it to transparent actually makes this work. Um, so then, yeah, I was going to show you how to make it from scratch, but we don't really need to, unless you want to. Uh, but okay, we've got our dissolved material working with segmentation. Now you can see it's maybe a little, um, not the perfect scale for a full screen thing. So then you can go back up and mess with that scale again. Um, let's see. So that's scale. Hmm. Okay, this dissolve area affects how much of the screen is dissolved. So if you want it to dissolve, you can animate this um, value, dissolve area from zero to one, and it'll dissolve away. That's, I think, the point of this material. You can't change the scale larger than three, though. So it's interesting. Um, yeah, what do, what do you think, Celine? What would be the other things to know about this to configure it? So these just change kind of the look of it. Yeah, uh, maybe after we are able to add the texture back in by referring from the portrait segment. Oh, no, that's just the opacity map. Um, but after we connect it, I think we can animate the dissolve using transit by time or the time passing. Yeah. <clears throat> OK, I can do that. Um, so yeah, once you get it looking how you want, uh, well, in order to grab that node, you have to make sure that your visual scripting window is open, not the material graph set dissolve area. And then, yeah, we can just do a transit by time or a timer. Uh, I preferred timer for something like this because it has less stuff on the screen. <laughs> but transit by time does the exact same thing. Um, and then you just start it whenever you want it to start. So I want it to start when the effect starts. Um, and the duration, I want to be one second. And from zero to one. Oh, um, look at that. <laughs> the speed is very fast, though. Should we oh. add more loop so people <laughs> can see what is happening? Yeah. Let's add five loops and make it take two seconds. <laughs> And maybe ping pong, so it appears and disappears. Yeah, we can do. Oh, uh... whoa! This is actually so cool. It looks like you are um, superhero, like transitioning <clears throat> out. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I wonder. <laughs> I just want to see what happens if we manually tell this to. Uh... a larger scale okay so it's hard capped at three <laughs> that's okay uh 
Yeah, maybe I'll personally put in a feature request to increase the maximum scale for screen space effects. Yeah, yeah this, is this is definitely a 3D uh, effect, so it's going to look way smaller on th a 3D model. We're doing the entire screen, so when we set it to the max scale, it still looks kind of big. So yeah, there's probably, there's probably a good reason to add a screen space one as well to the mm -hmm. asset library. Um, T Luck, thank you so much for asking this question. Um, using segmentation with the dissolved material, that's a genius and brilliant idea. And I think your effect is going to turn out amazing. Um, I've also received uh, similar ish questions about how to make someone disappear from a background. Do you by chance know how to take a point? from the background and put it so that it kind of makes you look invisible? <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, so are we talking about the look that's in the pig pigeon body yeah, yeah. drive effect? Uh -huh. For those of you who don't know, there is a very viral effect by one of our ambassadors, Nuke Most, and he's created this effect where um, you are blurred, so you looks you're like seamless in the background, and they use body avatar drive to be a dancing pigeon. I think it's even wearing heels, honestly, and it is so funny. Yeah, so that would be very similar to where I started here, so we can actually use the same starting point. Um, so the lerp here, okay, so the portrait segmentation, I think is black background white. Sometimes you'll use a mask where it's a uh, transparent background colored um, part of the mask. So that's the difference in that is you're just going to either use a color or alpha. Um, so we're going to use color, I think. We can always switch later if we need to. Um, but we're going to use that to decide whether we want A or B to render. And so anytime that our, um, when, anytime that this mask is one, it will choose B. Anytime it's zero, it's going to choose A. So that if we're using portrait segmentation, that means where it's on the person, that's where it's one. So the person will choose this B color. And so we'll tell it what to do there. And when it's not on the person, we'll select a random point in the screen and we'll just uh, render that. So we can we can do this. And this is kind of basically what it is. So we'll just say 0.8 and um, I don't know, 0.8. We'll just somewhere in the corner, right? And then um, this is the camera input texture. So this rgba color is going to be the selection when you're not when you're not on the person right so that's actually a and then so this other one is going to be wait when you're not on the person no we want this to be on the person because we're hiding the person sorry <laughs> and then this one is going to be showing you the true background so it's not covering up the background it's only covering up the person I think this will work. Uh, we'll turn this off and we'll add a new um, portrait segmentation. Oh, uh, we can move this to here. Um, OK, so we got the background. We've got the portrait. And now we want to change the material to our uh, empty material that we've been creating. And now you can see um, it's taking a random part of the background and just painting it over where the person is using that mask. Uh, a couple things that you can do to maybe improve this would be the, this smoothness value. Um, turning it up and down will change how much of that edge you see. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of shows the outline of the person almost. So maybe you could try the opposite where you're changing this um, smoothness and inverting the mask. And then you can do this thing. There's a super convenient thing in, in Material Graph where you select one minus. And it's just a function that says one minus whatever input value. You use it all the time in, in uh, Material Graph. 
that's great. So now we, we're just inverting what we were doing before. And hey, take a look, it's a little smoother because we're coming from the outside in um, and it's doing the opposite thing. So little things like that could help, um, but it's never gonna be perfect. And in fact, when there's a background, it's gonna be obvious that you're masking a person out. But that's kind of the funny part of it. Um, yeah, I think this is this is pretty much exactly what the pigeon effect was doing. Thank you so much for that. I know a lot of people wanted to create um, become invi invisible kind of effect. So this would be a good answer to them.